What's good? <laughs> What's good, YouTube? Ooh, my chair just made a noise. Hi, I'm Timmy Turner, and I need a new intro. What's good, YouTube? It is Brie Hall, and I am back with a video. So 2018 was a rough year, to say the least. It was a lot of ups and a lot of downs. And as y'all can see, I took a much-needed break, took a little time from social media, just doing some independent projects and learning. If you follow me on Instagram, you already know some of the stuff that I've been doing. All right, y'all, so this is my first official day playing with production software. Since I make music, I figured why not also just learn a little bit about the production basics and stuff. So this is my first beat, um, yeah. All right, hopefully y'all can hear this. Let's turn this up a little bit. All right, let's get it. <laughs> Last year I had a lot of firsts, including my first ever, 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 first class train ride, okay y'all? I was feeling real bougie, like I've never rode first class on anything. Believe it or not, like y'all might think, you know, we out here living lavish, and I mean, we are, but like premium coach or the one with the leg room. <laughs> So for 2019, I thought, what was the best way to start my year off right? And I thought, I went off into imaginary Brie land, you know, off into my thoughts. And I said, hmm, a New Year's glow up, I think would be the best way to start off the year. But first, what's the actual definition of glowing up? And I was surprised when I took to the internet to find out there was already an official definition. Not just an urban dictionary, y'all. I'm talking about in the regular schmegular degular dictionary. From what I saw, glowing up was mainly external in almost all cases. So I was like, what would it be to do something a little more full scale? Like a life glow up, like a full internal, external, all that, you feel me? So what did I need first? Because you know, if you watch my procrastination series, you know this, this wasn't just a one day process. I wanted it to be, but I was reaching for higher. I was reaching for more. I was reaching for the stars, okay? So, what did I need for day one? I needed supplies to make this glow up happen. So where did I go? One of my favorite places in the entire world. Don't tell Sephora. <laughs> I know the whole new year, new me thing can be played sometimes, but in this case, I was feeling quite crusty. My nails, as you can see, yes, they have grown out. This is like three weeks of all that. Some of y'all don't know, but I oftentimes do my own nails. And then I'm gonna, um, you know, do some reading because I wanna just, you know, get my mind right for the new year. I think that's more important than external, but when you look good, you feel good, and when you feel good, you do good, so. All right, so first up, we're gonna go to Ulta, and I'm gonna go get my war slash death machine, AKA an epilator. All right, y'all, so we made it to Ulta now. Let me all glow with me and grow with me. I'm trying to reach the 700K by New Year's. We'll see if it happens. I'm about to go inside. supplies i'm thinking we in the clear we about to get started on the glow up and just get everything done externally but then i had other plans not just procrastination but like productive procrastination i wanted to do some cool stuff for mental and emotional health in general before i even got to the external physical part good morning and welcome back you might be saying 
Good morning, Brie. I thought you were supposed to be doing some stuff last night, but I made that giant bowl of pho and I literally fell asleep. Okay, y'all, it was a wrap. But this morning we're starting off our glow up with some greens. Put some hemp protein in here, strawberries, bananas, um, pineapples, all that good stuff. And then I just threw some spinach on top, you know, for them greens. And we gonna get the morning popping and get this glow up right. It is raining outside, so it's actually the perfect opportunity to glow up because who going out there and all that? Not I. So I went to one of my longtime friend's shows where he was opening up for Wale and I had a great time. It's 2019, we are late. Hallelujah. It just, it, it makes people crazy yeah, regardless. You, you, you know, if you kill somebody else, or if you kill yourself. It made everybody, so most of the people who saw it, they, it looked like they saw their deepest fear or darkest sadness. Yeah. And it made them so I, sad I, they want to kill them. That guy taken. Okay, all right, so what happened to homie who came to the house with the suit on, yeah. And the birds yeah. wasn't even tripping. Yeah. Hey, look. Yeah. Ain't no way you just start drawing up. Y'all see how y'all argument like, breaks down? Like, hey, bro, if the police lock all y'all up and, and we got to get the same story going, <laughs> niggas are like going to jail. Right? Right. 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 What's still good? It's about two billion people all over the world that looks like us. Then the next thing I did that I wanted to do for a really, really long time, since I have ADHD, for some of y'all who know this, this is what makes my videos so creative, makes me very talkative in real life, but I needed a stable morning routine because I get extreme morning anxiety. What to cook, what to eat, what to wear, and sometimes it can take me up to four and a half to five hours just to decide, which might sound wild to some people, but if you have ADHD, you know what I'm talking about. So I formulated and drafted a full morning routine. I feel like since I did it, I've been sticking to it about 80%. I would say some items might, but I feel even more accomplished when I finish the entire routine. And I accurately timed everything. It might seem long to have a three hour morning routine for some people. When you have a three hour morning routine that focuses on mental health, physical health, emotional health, well being, grooming, all these good things, by the time I'm finished, I'm like, I could have spent four hours or something overthinking everything, or I could spend three hours just doing exactly what's on this list. So that helped a lot. This worked out so well for me that I ended up saying, hmm, maybe I will also create a night routine. So I did that too. Day three. I thought day three would be an all-inclusive endeavor, but no, everything needed its own individual time, its own care, its own love. So day three, I decided to call it hair, hair, and ouch because, it was hair and hair removal combined into one despicable wheel, if you will. So the henna I'll be using today is the Rainbow Deep Ebony slash Black Henna. I wonder if it has indigo in it. We'll see how it comes out. It's gonna be kind of experimental, but if not, I'll just do another treatment in like a week or two. But yeah, and then I'm gonna be using some dark coffee as well to enhance the color. You can use water, but coffee and tea actually makes it a little bit more potent. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix these together. And I might even throw in a little bit of aloe vera, dried aloe vera powder just to make it a little more slippery because if you've ever done henna, you know that there's not a single bit of slip once you start applying it. So I'm gonna give that a try. All right, y'all, as you can see, I am not cutting out all the blooper stuff because Y'all know glowing up is a process, okay? It is a process. But um, I made some additional coffee because I had lots of hot water left. This
my look right now. I have this little trash bag I basically cut to make it into like a cape for the henna. Of course, some might still get like on the shoulders, but I'll just wipe that off. And then this is my hair um, with zero product in it. And I just um, shampooed it and that's it. Cleansed it. And look at how it looks. Um, and I realized that I might have a much higher pain tolerance than I thought because when I was using that hair removal torture device that you all may know as an epilator, I realized I didn't have that much pain. Um, it stung a little bit, but it wasn't that bad. Day four was dedicated to my nails and conditioner. As you can see, I have a different nail design because this is two weeks later and I deep conditioned my hair and it was a wonderful day. Now I already had a lot of nail stuff at home because I just love doing my nails sometimes when I have events or something. So I also invested in one of those CVS kind of style foot bath soaks and it's amazing y'all. Let me tell you. Coffee and coconut oil but it's turning the water this weird murky color. What was the uh, the jump we was watching? Oh what those a, fake a, foot baths? Yeah, the water turned brown. Yeah, it turned that brown whether they were in the water or not. This feels just like the nail salon though, which is so funny. The only difference is I'm doing the work, but like it's still kind of rewarding. She's, you know, falling out of control. <laughs> oh no, look the top came off. I don't really think there's a such thing as like a high quality like foot bath. Foot bath. They do have the nail salon ones, but those are like eight hundred dollars. Exactly, but I need for my eczema. <laughs> eczema? Don't got no eczema. Dry skin no more. Now day five was all about hair and skin, just finishing the process. Now if you want a full skincare routine, head over to my skincare routine from Vlogmas because it's pretty much the same. And I did decide to put my hair into this sleek ponytail with extensions, so you're gonna see that now. <laughs> a pore strip slash a black mask as well yeah got those pores nice and clean
26 was my favorite day of the week. I think this was like a crucial day for me mentally. And that was called the art of throwing shit away because I threw a lot of shit away, okay? Stuff that just wasn't getting used in months, gave stuff away, all that good stuff. I threw away old makeup. I even bought a shelf to help organize my items, which I'll show you guys in a future video. And finally day seven, which is hello. 2019 so we are here and here's my recap <laughs> y'all so yeah i'm in my window right now but today is the final day of the glow up i'm so excited with how everything came out um got the lashes i got a new septum ring i mean i already had the piercing for like three plus four Four years now we're on year four so I've had this piercing for a long time for people who think it's new it's a piercing you can flip up so if you haven't seen it that's why um, got my my nails I did my nails myself um, yeah I ordered a new drill because I think I'm gonna just keep doing my nails because um, when I do it it's so cheap and effective plus the only nail tech who's like a sister to me who I trust with my nails lives like an hour away from me now no not even an hour almost two hours away from me now so it's just the best option at the moment. That's about it, especially the cleaning part. The cleaning part helped so much this week, y'all, because when you travel, you know, your house is a reflection of your mind. So just, I feel like I just cleaned um, my home. I lived in my truth. If you follow me on Twitter, you know exactly what I mean by that. If you don't, you should. You should follow your girl on Twitter at Brie Hall Official. And um, I've had some really great meetings. I'm about to have a meeting in what? five minutes actually so I just want to come on and just do my final update I will keep y'all updated on my new progress because your girl feels good okay your girl feels great you girls we are here thriving we are here flourishing and I just hope y'all get inspired from this video to do your own you know new year glow up level up all the things you need to do all right bye guys love you Before you go ahead and conquer 2019 as well, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button on this video. YouTube also changed their notification settings and the way subscribers get notified. So make sure you click the bell and that your bell looks like this because if it doesn't, you're actually not getting notifications. So there's that. So if your bell icon has two lines beside it and they're like, like this comments and emoji like the hands emoji i hope this inspires some of y'all to just you know have a mental physical and emotional glow up for 2019 i feel really good um i let a lot of stuff go this year just and i, I came into this year a little bit lighter so that feels nice that feels really nice and i'm just so happy to get back to making videos and having time you know to do everything i'm going to be traveling and doing a lot of cool stuff this year so i can't wait for y'all to see what i have in store i really can't all right y'all love y'all peace out and gang gang i'll see you in my next video free <laughs> this ponytail don't look half bad y'all i might have to do a whole separate tutorial on this because she cute I should have did the video just like this. Pile of pops. Is that a look? Is that a look? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god.